just Louise from Bishop Merton Kennels and Grooming. Um, I'm one of the dog grooming tutors. It's actually just started to rain. <laughs> um, this is Ruby the Cabochon and we're just going to give you a couple of tips and tricks on how to keep on top of your dog's car at home. I'm just going to trim the nails now and um, they're not actually that long. A good way to check if your dog's nails need trimming is stand them up like this on the floor or on the table and if they're touching the floor that means that they need trimming. As you can see, hairs actually hover just slightly over the table, so they're not in dire need of a trim, but I can just take the ends off. When they're black, it's really hard to see where you need to trim, so I'm going to show you this way. So I'm bending the paw ever so slightly backwards, and can you see that part there where it's hollow? I'm just going to tip that edge off there. So you sort of stop where the nail stops curling. It's okay. Not many dogs like this doing. Just like so. Good girl. So I've just taken the very tips off. I'm not forgetting the dew claw. I find that's quite easy to get. And you see that one's curled round just slightly. I find that's easier just to get from the front. Just taking that edge off. Good girl. The back ones, you'll probably find that they don't need any or very little taking off. As the way that dogs walk, it tends to grind them down. So I am just going to take the very ends off these back ones too. If you're not sure how much to take off, just start by taking a tiny little tip. Good girl. Just got three more to do. Just being careful not to lift the leg too high as well. I'll take you through how to brush and keep a knot free. So if you've got a dog with this sort of curly woolly coat type, um, but it does apply to dogs with wiry hair and longer or double coats as well. Smooth haired dogs like a Staffy or short haired Chihuahua, those types of dogs don't need as much maintenance. Okay, so I'm going to start with the pin brush. Um, these are really good general purpose brushes and I'm just going to start by brushing all over. So with the back, down each leg. Just be careful not to lift the legs too high. Good girl. Not forgetting the face. It's good just to do one side of the face at a time. You can gently hold. most important part, the comb. So as you can see it's got a thicker side and a finer side um, and this just makes sure that you get all the knots out of the coat. Pay particular attention to the legs, the feet, and the underarm area because these are areas where mats are most likely to occur. Just when they're walking, fair brushes together and can easily mat up. So I'm going to start this side. Good girl. Very important to reward your dog as well verbally or you can even have some treats on hand. this just helps. When you're doing the head, um, it's a good idea just to gently take hold of the hair underneath the chin. This just gives you a lot of control and it's safer. Um, your dog should also be used to being held like this at the groomers, as this is what we do. If your comb is struggling a little bit here, you can always get some conditioning spray or detangling spray, which you can get from most pet shops. helps to detangle a little bit so we're not causing her any pain. There we go. And as you can see, what the brush hasn't managed to get out, the comb has, 
there's just a couple of little knots there that we would have missed if we didn't comb her through. You're a good girl.